Hey everybody, Jared with Second Life Design. Uh, I want to do a quick video on my YouTube video process, on how I make them, what I, my goals are, what I'm trying to get out of it, how it works for me, and we'll kind of go from there. Um, kind of a vlog style video here. I'm going to try not to ramble too much, but just kind of bear with me and we'll see what we can get out. Uh, I've been making videos and putting them online for about four months. Um, I'm doing it all from a smartphone, uh, from an iPhone 6. Uh, I have a couple of them. Uh, I'm going to do a separate video on all my camera gear and what I'm using and how little of it I have and what I could do with it. Um, there will probably be another video on um, kind of some shop upgrades I'm going to do for videoing. So kind of stay tuned for those. Uh, we'll, those will be coming, those are in the works. Um, I've been making videos about four months and I've learned a lot in the short time of doing it. Um, when I started, I was, before I started, I was under the assumption I needed a bigger camera and a bigger computer and how much time it was going to take for editing and I was really kind of, that's what stopped me all along. That's why I never, I wanted to do it for a long time, I never could get past the time commitment it takes. Um, when a content creator says a project takes three times as long when you're videoing it, that's absolutely true. It takes a lot of time to get everything set up right, get it lit right, so you can see everything. And all those things kind of deterred me for the longest time from doing it. Um, I took the plunge and started just doing some stuff on my iPhone, um, and it's worked out really well. Uh, I use a couple phones and a GoPro, and it helps to get different angles for things. I can do time lapses on the GoPro. Those sync to the phone, I can download the video straight to it. So. There's a lot of good options out there now. Technology's made it simple for me to make it easier. Um, I'm still, I still have a full-time job and the woodworking and the videoing on top of it. I just don't have enough time to do all the editing that goes with it. I would love to do a better job, but I just don't have the time to. Um, I kind of liken my video making style to a food truck versus a regular restaurant where uh, a regular restaurant has all the flash and all the nice niceties where the food truck is just getting the inf getting the product out in a quick way where where the people are at and it's easier on the supplier and the consumer that's what I'm going for um, I don't want to do any super long videos nothing will be over 10 minutes hopefully and they're easy for me to edit I do it straight from my phone through iMovie on my phone again I can do these on the fly and that's why it works well for me. Um, I'm more focused on the content I'm providing, the information I'm providing, I, I should say, than anything else. Um, I've done a couple uh, good tip videos on applying Rubio and how I distress boards. Those have worked really well. Um, they're kind of specific to woodworkers, obviously, but they're good information, and I try to explain that as clear as possible. Um, like the Rubio video, for example, I was looking for one all along when I was researching Rubio Monocoat. Never found a good explanation video of it for woodworking. Found a lot for flooring, never for um, furniture use. So I put that out, it's been very popular. So that's why that's the kind of things I want to provide. Um, I'm not an expert in any means, but I want to get as much of my experiences out to help as possible. So. Anyone else starting with woodworking, or if they're kind of that next level of woodworking where it's going to be a more serious hobby, that's the kind of videos I want to put out in a quick way so I can keep going on, so I can get the information out and go forward. So uh, just kind of stick with me. Um, if you're thinking about taking the plunge and doing some videos, just do it. Um, it's really easy. You can do it on a smartphone, on an iPhone, um, and you'd be more, more surprised at how well they can be done with just a little bit of thought, light your shots a little bit well, get some better lighting in the shop. Everyone needs that anyway. So get some good lighting, take some cool pictures, some good videos. The video editing apps anymore are really great. Um, yeah, there's there's no reason you shouldn't be doing it if you have an ambition to. So that's what I can say about that. Um, stay tuned for my other two videos on my gear and my boom. and. We'll try and get those out pretty quick here. Um, I've got some big projects going on in the shop, and we'll go from there. Uh, please follow me on Second Life Design on Instagram, and any comments, leave them here, and I'll get back to you as quick as I can. Thanks.